Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. Um, we had a Yeezy prom today and I am in New York City here on July 24th, uh, 2025. Wow, these years do go by. In any case, I am trying to do a prom I haven't done before. We'll, today we'll keep a Yeezy slash medium and then we'll just do a, a random RNG um, just to kind of, well, yeah. Uh, we have apparently 183 proms left. Is that true? Oh, I thought I could search the difficulty for those because hmm. I did one easy and medium. So we have 646 palms left, not that bad. But we're, okay, algorithmic. So we only, we only have 279 palms left uh, that we haven't done yet, but no hard today. So only 206, and we'll choose a random, uh, hopefully not too difficult one that I haven't done before. That's the goal of this is to just have a new palm. And today we have a easy palm, so we'll play around with that. And yeah, I mean, eventually we'll get through all the easy ones anyway, hopefully. So, you know. It'll get harder. But let's take a look at this one. We have the 1134 Armstrong number, premium palm, a easy palm, um, premium palm. We have given an integer and return true if and only if it is an Armstrong number. Okay. Uh, K digit number n is an Armstrong number if and only if the kth power of each digit get a little kth power of each digit sums to n. Um, Armstrong number, the K digit, oh, the, is the number of digits. So 153 is, okay, I mean, that seems pretty straightforward, honestly. Um, so we can just do it this way, right? So here maybe we have, um, well, first we want to break it down. So we'll just put it in an array because I'm too lazy to, you know, figure out if we can do this uh, in a easy way. But we actually want to keep track of the, uh, so maybe we'll say current is equal to N. Something like this, right? Just to get every digit one digit at a time. And then now we can get the length of the thing, right? So, um, yeah, length of the current is equal to the number of digits. So we have D. And then now we have for, uh, we could do like even sum of X or power to the X to the D for, for X in a way, right? And then we can return whether this is equal to, um, what is it, N? I like big N. I don't like small N. It just always looks weird for me. Um, and then that should be good. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, int have no... Oh. Oh, oh, whoops. Yeah, okay. I mean, silly enough. And it always is zero anyway. Oh, it looks okay. Uh, I was just... <laughs> and in the daily problem, I have a negative answer or negative input. Um... So I'm just double checking just in case I do something silly, but it seems okay. So let's give a quick submit. It is a easy problem after all, but today's problem was also easy. So, uh, and I made a mistake there. So, okay, uh, that's it. That is all I have for this one. This is linear time, right? In the sense that the, the input is the number of bits and then the number of bits, we just kind of uh, do, uh, okay. Maybe it's a little bit awkward to describe things in the number of bits because technically power is also linear. Um, so if you're linear per digit, it's kind of n square e, but it is too fast anyway, because in this case, the number of digits, it's, um, it's at most, well, I want to say eight or nine for, for base 10, but you can also just say 30 for base, um, binary, right? And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, um, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.